Did it work? Did you see Master Ares's vision? What Master Ares saw wasn't mystical at all. It was a carving made by the Sand People. A carving? Now, Master Ares never mentioned a carving on those walls. What did it show? Let's see if I can explain this. I'm listening. The Sand People are the oldest group on Tatooine? <laughs> Doesn't say much for progress. Still, I bet none of them get the sand rot. <coughs> I have a hard time believing Master Ares would do anything so cockeyed as working with the Sand People. At least the Jawas are good for droid repair. He said it himself. He saw the vision on the wall and went to find the Ultimate Warriors. Wait. <coughs> what did you say the symptoms of this thing were? Delusions? Paranoia? What violence? One group of Sand People has been unusually aggressive lately. Normally, they stick pretty close to their camps. <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying I think Master Ares is behind it, but uh, maybe it's worth looking into. Now you're starting to use your brain. I, I can only go by what I've seen of the man. I'm sorry. There's a farm and settlement out at Malcolm's Dunes that's been reporting a lot of sand people activity. I'll meet you out there. I know some of those folks, and uh, I can help your investigation. I thought you weren't supposed to go out into the desert. Says who? Bunch of doctors never set foot outside of Anchorhead in their lives? <laughs> Besides, it'll do me good. Don't care if it kills me. <laughs> I'm tired of being an invalid. I feel a lot better when we change bases, Fowler. I don't like this. You say that now, but just wait until you see the real desert. Hey, look who's back. And alive. You able to find anything? I found your data, along with Gamorreans and a Zerka strike team. Blast. Guess they must be one step ahead of us. Ah, uh, Master Fowler? It looks like there's a call coming in. Why, hello everyone. Master Faller, Master Orden, and my little visitor from the Gamorian hideout. Especially nice to see you again. You're doing well, I hope. This man led the Zerka team I encountered. Not a friendly face, then. Since I didn't get the chance before, I thought I'd formally introduce myself. I am Gaim Lexende, here on behalf of Zerka Corporation. I know that name. I understand that the Republic is disputing Zerka's property rights. I've come to Tatooine to retrieve our belongings, including Camus Orden. You corporate types think you own everything. Because we do. Zerka will take any actions necessary to protect its interests. And I assure you, our representatives in the Senate can excuse any incidents. Lexende. They say he's the son of an executive. He's supposed to run the company's special enforcement branch. Rich boy who took up wet works as a hobby. Up to his neck in cybernetics. Good news is, Zerka wouldn't have sent him if we were on the wrong track. He wants to keep us from the old facility. Look, Camus and I could use some time to review this data, but I still need you. If you're heading into the desert, give me a call. You expect to find something out there? I have suspicions. Hoping these files will confirm them. You can reach me from a secure line at one of the militia bases. We'll talk soon. Looking good. Glad you could check in. We're getting ready to ship out of Anchorhead. See if we can pick up any signals from the old Zerka base. In the meantime, we got a new lead. Camus hit the jackpot in those files we lifted from the Gamorreans. Something about the research facility? One of the files was a personnel listing. It named everyone who worked at Zerka's tattooing facility. Most of the employees are long gone, but one stayed on planet after the Zerka base was abandoned. If we can find him, he might be able to tell us where the facility was, what the device is. Maybe we could make Lexende back off. Probably not. 
but sure. His name is Gromit Kurtzen. For a while he was something of a drifter, finally bought a little moisture farm. If he was here before Zerka abandoned the base, he must be ancient. I'm guessing he's 60s, 70s. The files don't say. My big worry is that Lexende and his enforcement squad will get to Gromic first. Try to keep him quiet. You're assuming Gromic knows something. Sure am. Don't know if that's optimism or a desperation. By the time you're through investigating Gromic, we'll be set up at our new forward base. We... Uh, we will? From there, we can scout the Zerka facility itself. As soon as you find anything, come out and meet us. until I'm leaving. And the doors are closing, Walner. I love you like a brother, but the doors have to close, huh? <clears throat> you, you weren't here before. You came all the way out to my farm to fix my machines? Are you Gromick Kurtzen? Mm-hmm. I'm Gromick. I started to think you wouldn't come. Most shops think it's too dangerous out here. But the sand people, they keep bashing my evaporators. Lizards chew up my guns and alarms. This place used to be a fortress, but I just can't fix things anymore. Talk to me. Is it just failing equipment or is trouble coming? I don't know. I can't figure out why it's breaking. And my rifle misses. And the creatures get closer every day. You can fix my home, though. Didn't I send the credits to Anchorhead? That's why you're here. Let's say I am here to repair your farm. Why don't you explain what you need? It's the vaporators, and the perimeter sensors, and, and the emergency guns. They need fixing. I think it was the sand people. I have the parts, it's just... I'm scared to leave my home without the sensors working. It's shameful, I know.
console. It says you fixed everything. You really fixed it. Back before, I could have done it myself. Not so much anymore. You must have been pretty tough back then. You know, I used to be a security guard for Zerka, but they've been gone for years now. They left me alone, and I've stayed by myself. What exactly were your duties at Zerka? I was... I was a security officer at Zerka's Secret Weapons Division 7. I was so proud. Any idea what Zerka was working on? A scientist's project. It was all secret. Zerka never told us what was in that cave. When it all went wrong, I had to lock up the base, leave the others behind. I left the desert and the horrors and went to Anchorhead. That explains how you survived when no one else did. What? I think that's enough from the old man, don't you? You're Zerka. I recognize your uniform. Pity the sun's dulled his brain. But then I suspect he was never too bright. Yes, Gromik, I'm with Zerka. If it isn't my old buddy, the Corporate Stooge. Oh, you have a pet name for me. How sweet. Zerka found out about Gromik a while ago. We disabled his perimeter sensors and waited to see if anyone would come. You broke my moisture evaporators. Those two, yes. May I continue? Our honeypot seems to have caught a few flies. And now, I'm free to murder you and the old man together. You won't last two seconds against me. I'm speaking to you from an airship two kilometers above ground. I can target you with turbo lasers and drop droids on your little heads. The advantage is mine. to shelter. Follow me. Us here. We'll be safe. Well, that was exciting. I'm disappointed I didn't get to fry you, but I can settle for your asphyxiation. Enjoy being buried alive, my friends. Enjoy. He's wrong. He's wrong. First, though. First... Here. This is a cache. The Circa files I hid years ago. I buried them all over the desert, and this is the first batch. You can have them. I didn't mean to involve you with Zerka again. You heard the hologram? Zerka's trying to kill me now. I don't owe them anything. And my friends in the base? They can't be hurt. Now, 
I had an escape planned when I built this place. There's a back entrance to take you outside. You can't just stay here. Go on. I need to rest a while. I need to wait until they stop watching my farm. If you want the other files on Zerka, you'll find them in the desert. Just don't let them get away with this. objective was not destroyed. We're here to put an end to this operation. Drop your weapons, now! Republic soldiers, eliminate them, Kyvax, at once! So sorry, Mayor Claren. I, I just, I never imagined it would come to this, you know. Innocent people dead, all because of my designs. I, I, was, I was so stupid. Well, you're working for the right side now, okay, buddy? We're going to put a stop to this. The Geonosians were definitely working with the imps. I know it's. Well, thanks for trusting me after everything that's happened. I really do want to help. Colonel Gorick is, uh, <laughs> he isn't pleased about you being here, Lieutenant. He has the entire operation on high alert. I think it's time for you to tell me where you are, Fuse. Well, I would, but, uh, but there's a problem. You see, the base's location is a total secret. I, I have no idea where we are. The only people who have the base's coordinates are Gorick's commando teams. He'll, uh, you have to hit one of those teams to get the coordinates. Just point me in the right direction and I'll move out. When the guards were talking earlier, I... I overheard them mention a commando team stationed in a cave near the Sand People settlements. The commandos were deployed to test some of my designs on the Sand People. Mines, booby traps, that kind of thing. So the Sand People are... you know, pretty riled up right now. I'll stay alert. It, uh, it may not be long before Gord decides to pull out entirely, Lieutenant. He's worried that more Republic reinforcements are coming. So, try to reach the cave and get the coordinates off the commandos quickly, before the opportunity is gone. Good luck out there. You'll need it.
eradicated. So negre.
Halt! Identify yourself immediately! Havoc Squad, pleased to meet you. What? I thought Havoc Squad was on our side now, Serge? We'll figure it out when they're dead. Open fire! All I need is the location of your base. Tell me that and you can go. Base. Base coordinates. Here. On this data... data pad. Please. Mercy. Mercy. You're free to go, soldier. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you. Thank you. Lieutenant, can you hear me? This is Oleg Clara. Are you there, Lieutenant? I read you loud and clear. He was just called. He said Colonel Gorick is pulling out. He's going to run for it, Lieutenant. That scum killed dozens of innocent people for his tests. Those people deserve justice. Their families deserve justice. Please hurry, Lieutenant. Gorick has to pay for what he's done. I'll move out immediately, sir. You've got him on the run. Now finish him off. Good luck, Lieutenant. Claren, uh, Claren out. Uh, right. Glad to be back. Sense Master Kuix at all anymore. Look at the Chosky now, Kuchisa. Your Mata Chipumbota. I'll handle that beast, my friend. Keep your family safe. Did you get half of the bunker? More good on the own P. Bedwana. Nipobo Chopoma. Obanya.
quiet, finally. I can breathe again. I've been down here so long. Shh, Master, let us help you. Kira and Orgus's Padawan. You're both changed. What has happened? All that matters right now is you're safe. I only survived this weapon by withdrawing into a deep trance. The Force itself became my armor. Sustaining the trance cost me greatly. My strength is a fraction of what it was. Do you need medical attention? The injuries I've sustained can only be healed by time. And meditation. I know you face terrible dangers for me. I will not forget that. Here you are. I was coming to help when sensors indicated the shock drum stopped. You did it. Rick wasn't exaggerating about the Sand Demon. I've never seen anything like it. I almost hated having to destroy it. My friends, the danger is not yet past. Even deactivated, that weapon remains a threat. You understand the situation best. What should we do? This technology can't fall into the wrong hands again. Let's collapse the cavern network with explosives. What? Uh, all that work? The people who died protecting it? Think how many more would have died. The galaxy is better off without such weapons. I will see to the shock drum. You should return to your ship and inform General Varsuthra what's happened. With the Sand Demon dead and Imperials gone, you should be safe. Before we go, you need to know something, and I'd rather you hear it from me. I never told you about my childhood. I'm not who you think I am. So much about you is now clear to me, Kira. But you're wrong about one thing. You are exactly who I think. A strong, capable young woman. One day, you'll be a great Jedi. If you could see what she's accomplished, you'd be proud. We'll meet again on Tython. May the Force be with you.
Listen, Delk, we got broken vaporators, a pile of wounded, and our food stores are almost completely gone. That lunatic said he was a Jedi and a friend of yours. We trusted him. You better have a pretty good explanation for why this Master Ares keeps sending sand people out to attack us. That's the Jedi I'm looking for. Where is he? Another Jedi? Damn it, Delk. Why do you keep leading them here? <sighs> Listen here. We've already lost too much to that master What's-His-Face and his army of sand people. So why don't you just leave here quiet-like and don't cause any more trouble? I don't want trouble. Just tell me what's going on. I'm sorry, Jedi, but our trust is a bit worse for the wear at this point. Well, master Ares was nice enough when he came through asking to study the sand people. But ever since we pointed him to their camp, you could set your chrono by their attacks. We got nothing left. The Sand People are your enemies, not me. You suggesting we go out there and attack the Sand People? You want us to get killed? Then tell me where Master Ares is so I can stop him. It's your only chance. You know it's true, Malcolm. Okay, fine. Seems we don't have a choice. I'll draw you a map, but I still don't trust you. I'll warn you, though. Master Ares did something to these sand people. They're stronger. Faster than any we've seen. Hmm. Well, I think I know where that is. I'll get some gear together and meet you out there. Maybe provide backup. <laughs> you have my gratitude. Still can't believe the Master Ares I worked with is the same guy who's causing so much trouble.
you're about to witness it. After weeks of work, finally, an end to the darkness. These people, these marvelous, marvelous specimens, have been tested, no, purified, in the crucible of Tatooine's harsh environs. They alone are the hope of the galaxy. Their strength, their society, is the blueprint of our salvation. What do you mean, blueprint? They are simple, but long after the Empire and the Republic are gone, these people will remain. Their culture is built around strength. They cut the weak away like a societal cancer. Don't you see? It's the only way. The Jedi Order has a responsibility, to weak and strong alike. How can I make you understand? They are the ultimate warriors, purified by hardship. We must follow their example and cut away everything that would make us weak in the face of our adversaries, the frail, the diseased. <laughs> You're not thinking straight. Now, <laughs> look, I'm sick, Eris. You gonna cast me out too? I have no choice. We must fortify the Republic with its strongest members and send this army of light out against the darkness. You're not yourself. These are not your thoughts. You fools. To oppose me is to reveal your own weakness. You will be cast out. Before you strike the killing blow, listen to me. I... I hear Lord Vivica's voice. I've failed him. Just as I failed my old friend Parcanus when he died. Why does everyone mention Parcanus? I don't know, but... I keep thinking about our first mission. Our ill-fated mission to Malachor III. We were all weak. We all came under the thrall of the dark side. We did things we regretted, but Borcanus was our strength. As we tried to escape, I fell behind, and he ran back to save me. He became trapped. We had to leave him. It was my weakness that killed him. Borcanus is one with the Force now. Yes, I know the teaching. But still, it is why I have thrown myself into this project. Think about it. The Jedi Order spends so much time protecting the helpless and caring for the sick when we could be fighting the Empire. You must kill me. I was weak on Malachor III, and I'm weak now. But you must take my findings before the Council. Promise me that. Let's see how you feel once Lord Vivacar no longer has a hold on you. What was that? You... He's gone. Somehow you've driven Lord Vivacor away. I... I no longer hear his voice. I almost... I almost wish you hadn't done that. Lord Vivacor twisted my mind. And I'm glad to be free of him. Still, my discovery remains. From these sand people, I have learned the key to building the unstoppable army. I feel I must bring these findings to the Republic. Yet, I can't shake this feeling that some truths are best left buried in the sand. Using this information would mean the sacrifice of every good the Republic stands for. You're right. These records are no more. Thank you for your guidance. 
and for saving me from Vivica's grasp. Well, Jedi, I'm glad Master Ares is alive in his own self. <coughs> Best get back to Anchorhead myself. Sandrot's acting up and, uh, well, frankly, sort of, sort of miss Darth Nurse's hollering. Just get out of here, then. Good luck with whatever it is you're doing, Jedi. <laughs> hope, hope you find this Lord Vivicar. Not even the scorekeeper could resist. Might you be? From Oras Kajava, Gurkunskara, Oreplex, Rajo Raunar, Udo Unskka. Yanor Forita, Visademo, Ragorant, Rocky Hurglex, Skras. Wajul Lambasat, Parsu Bodrak, Mudraksk, Gumbakolua. That still doesn't explain why we should have to go. We haven't seen your Dusk Shadow. Scotcharad mask osla, spetod tranis, kundapolua, your scow pokre, dosk tanga rastak, shivir skorsk, gus, zonkelis, koraa, dosta lunchi patna, shivir skorsk, visa ademo, yanor forita. Indeed, if you want the glory of a hunt, you must earn it. Wajul lambasat.
to appreciate the scenery, Camus. Most people never get to visit a place like this. This is a horrible place. No wonder Zerka built their base in the Dune Sea. No one would ever want to look for it here. He'll adjust. How was your visit to Old Man Gromit? Aside from Lexende burying us alive, it went all right. Too much to hope we'd seen the last of him. Mind if I see what you got for your troubles? These are official Zerka records from Secret Weapons Division 7. Schematics, survey maps. Looks like Gromit came through for us. Don't go anywhere. I think we're gonna need you. Alright, we should be able to determine a rough location of the base from these charts. Problem is, the sands have shifted over the last few decades. We'll need some geo-readings to determine the facility's exact coordinates. We need to deal with Zerka. I agree, but Zerka's out of our reach. Our goal should be to rediscover their base before they do. The data isn't hard to get, in theory. I can give you a field scanner that'll dip into the sand, put us on track. But... A lot of this territory is unexplored. Locals talk about sand people communities, crate dragons the size of starships. I was afraid this would be too easy. If you take readings in a couple of places, I can figure out the base location. Meet me back here when you're done. Take it slow and be careful.
invaders coming in. Looks like this will give us what we need, but... Huh? I'm getting an energy signature not too far from you. Some sort of installation, cloaked from long-range sensors. If you would, head on over and see if there's anything there. Could just be a glitch in the scanner, but I doubt it. Still a few minutes before those scans are processed. Huh. What about... Hey! Look who made it back! Bad news, Fowler. That reading was a Zerka listening post. Blast! Lexende must have set it up. Now the cyborg freak has our data. Zerka can find their lost base as easily as we can. I take it that means the readings came through. 
Yeah, machines are sorting through it now, but if Lexende's on the trail... We assumed Zerka came to keep us out of the facility. Maybe we were mistaken. Maybe they want what they left behind. Gromik's files. We saw some things. Yeah, turns out Zerka didn't come to Tatooine to build or test the device. They found it here, underground. An artifact powerful enough to wipe out a planet just buried in the desert. Zerka probably wanted to mass-produce the things. Now there's a horrifying thought. Zerka discovered the device. They analyzed it, then something happened that made them abandon it. Camus, has the computer cross-referenced the scans with Gromic schematics? Um, yes? It looks like the main entrance is a few kilometers away. What about the door codes? There's a bunch of relay towers around the base. They'll have a mess of data, the codes, along with old communications. Downloading everything from the relay towers will allow you to get into that base and destroy the device. It can't fall into the wrong hands. We don't even know what the device does. Zerka saw it as a doomsday weapon. That's enough. Be careful in the base, in case they left traps, or if Lexende finds you. That'll do, Camus. Time to let professionals finish the job. Great dragon fang. I'm in perfect condition. I'm deeply impressed with how you handled those Geonosians, Captain. Remember that Sith we heard about? She controls the Geonosians, and she wants to meet Diago. The Sith is behind the attacks on our operation? How do you know? She promised a reward if I got her some face time with Diago. Sith don't honor their promises any more than Jedi tell good lies. Let's hope that Jedi from my club puts the Sith out of our misery. We're going to an underground water well the natives call the Light Spring. The boss turned it into his private retreat. Now that we have the Fang, he'll let us into... Oh! What now? Kukri! Alice is under attack! Imperial Commandos! They're tearing us apart, breaching the security doors! <laughs> Yaga will be furious if this palace falls to the Empire. Only one thing to do. Touch the Imperials and meet me at the Light Spring. I'll kill the whole Empire myself if I have to. You're a gangster's gangster, my friend. Good luck. See you at the Light Spring. I was afraid you might have forgotten our agreement, so I sent some friends to jog your memory. Call off your attack dogs, lady. Gladly. All you have to do is honor your commitment. You promised to arrange a meeting for me with Diago. I want it. Now. Diago's at a place called the Light Spring. I'll send you the coordinates. 
see. That wasn't so hard. I just sent the all clear signal to my soldiers. They're retreating as we speak. Oh, well, perhaps not. Everyone warned me not to trust the Sith. I should have listened. But don't be ridiculous. I'm not betraying you. Apparently, little Nerio has decided to poke her lightsaber where it doesn't belong. She's killing my soldiers at the palace's main door. Be a dear and throw her off our trail. Then meet me at the light spring. I'll see you there. surrender. Why don't they ever surrender? I don't think they hear too good through those helmets. Please don't make jokes. People have died. I'm disappointed to see you in this place after our last conversation. I thought you'd learn to stop associating with criminals. Why are you here? If everyone's there is after something the local crime lord has. A red box. Thank you for confiding in me. Whatever Zaire wants, she mustn't be allowed to get it. If you know anything about the Sith's current whereabouts, please tell me. Zaire's headed for the desert, to an underground well called the Light Spring. You did the right thing informing me of this. Stay here. When I confront Zaire, it will be a horrific battle. You won't want to be around. May the Force be with us both. Farewell.
like solitude for a year. Now, four interruptions in a day. Frustrating. I didn't lead the Jedi or the Sith here, boss. I don't know how they found you. Sorry. Having a real chatterbox lately. Are you insane? Why would you leave him here? Why do I get the feeling you're playing us against each other? Can't believe you'd jeopardize your reward from me. Reward? What's she talking about? Leave me out of your little drama, all right? Cold feet, hmm? I thought you were tougher than that. Empty chatter. Like fingernails on transparent steel. I will silence. Who is that? Captain, haven't heard from you in a while. Everything all right? Kind of in the middle of something, Risha. Oh, beautiful girl. So beautiful. Wait, is that him? You're with Diago? I want to see her again. No! She uh, doesn't seem to be answering her hollow. Then bring her to me. She is mine. Diago, dear, I can offer you so much more. Just as soon as we rid ourselves of this Jedi. Afraid to fight me alone, Sith? Silence! The only voice here should be mine! Diago, you're every bit the monster Vavaron Zair is. You will both pay. You want to kill the Jedi. You want to drop your weapons. Stop waving your hands like that. You both look ridiculous. Strong-minded, hmm? You're no use to me. Forgive me, dear Diago. But I really must kill these two before we continue. No more! I find a beautiful girl myself! Right! Kill everyone! I didn't do anything! Everyone! Betrayed Zare and helped me defeat her. Why? She'd have betrayed me sooner or later. I figured, why wait? I was hoping for a more enlightened perspective, but it's a start. I see now why Zare thought this box was worth killing over. Thank the Force we stopped her. This is a Sith holocron. It was created centuries ago by a powerful Dark Lord called Darth Nihilus. Is Darth Nihilus guy famous for anything? He exterminated nearly every Jedi a few centuries ago. It took great effort for us to rebuild. I'll ensure this relic remains safely hidden from Zare's allies. The Empire must never access the terrible secrets contained here. My ship is waiting nearby. I should go. We have saved countless lives today. Put in a good word about me with your Jedi friends. Goodbye. May the Force protect you. That's all I hear. What was it like to fight not Draen? Oh, the next time some fool asks me that, I'll bury this holo recording in his forehead and play it back for the survivors. Not Draen was never a true gangster. Not like me. 
He just pretended. People think I fought him because he was more successful. Because he made me number two. Because he stole my wife. Lies! I fought him because he was no more a gangster than I am a senator. Nock was a con artist. The whole underworld was his mark. He was using us for something. Don't know what. But I do know he never gave a damn about being king of the underworld. He was all just a game. At least that pile of filth is finally dead. I raided his storehouse just to be sure he never came. I'm still alive and he's not. I won. You hear that knock? I won.
Lieutenant, you made it just in time. Gorg called for a full-scale evacuation. He's already at the hangar in the back of the base overseeing the evacuation, and he has my bomb designs with him. Please, you have to get to the landing area and stop Gorg before he escapes with my bomb designs. Am I supposed to just leave you here? I'm uh, clearly not going anywhere, Lieutenant. After you've taken down Gork, you can... Warning. Warning. Self-destruct sequence initialized. All personnel must evacuate to the hangar area immediately. This is not a drill. Countdown sequence initialized. Warning. Warning. Facility detonation imminent. Oh no, we're too late. The entire base, it's gonna be vaporized. We're... we're out of time. There must be some way to shut down the self-destruct sequence. You'd have to go to the command center to cancel the detonation. And, well, you could even unlock myself from there. But by the time you reach the command center and stop the explosion, Gork will have escaped with my bomb designs. That can't happen. I'm sure I can stop the explosion and get Gorik if I move fast enough. No. No, you have to leave me. By the time you cancel the self-destruct, Gork will be long gone. Please, there isn't time to argue. It's down to me or the bomb designs, and... Well, there's only one good choice there. Gorik can't be allowed to escape with those bomb designs. You, uh... You should hurry. We spent too much time talking already. The hangar is at the other end of the base. Good luck, Lieutenant. And, uh... Please... Please tell General Garza I'm sorry I let her down. It's been an honor serving with you, Fuse. You too, Lieutenant. So long. Squad, Beta Squad, Gamma Squad, check, 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 good. Delta, where is Delta Squad? Not sure, sir. They should be here by now. Drop your weapons, now! Who the... Ah, of course. I should have known. Intruder! All squads, open! Hold your fire, Captain. I'd like a word with this one. You... Do you have any idea what you've done here? What you've cost me? Cost the Empire? I'll have to spend months locating another sufficiently worthless planet with another town full of sufficiently worthless beings if I'm to conduct any useful research at all. Those are innocent people you're talking about. Scum! Filth! Criminals and vagabonds! No one cares what happens to them, and rightly so. Perhaps I'll take what's left of you to Tavis as consolation for losing his dear friend, Fuse. It is Fuse that's brought you here, isn't it? I quickly learned the man was weak, but I never would have guessed that his presence would be so... costly. Fuse helped me find you, Gorik. He led me straight to your doorstep. Impossible. Now you're just lying to me. Still, if you want to give him credit for delivering you to your death, then by all means. Captain, you and your men may fire when ready. My friend gave his life so I could stop you. And that's what I'm gonna do. All squads, open fire!
Hold up! Get me a solid perimeter ASAP! You must be the commander of Havoc Squad. I'm Lieutenant Tasser, sir. 43rd Advance Recon Squad. You came to help, you're a little late. Yes, sir. That's definitely the impression we got coming in. Apologies. General Garza rerouted us from a two-week sightseeing up on Ryloth to assist you, Lieutenant. Looks like you've already taken care of things, though. If I'd known reinforcements were inbound, I would have waited. Well, doesn't look like you needed us to begin with. Garza mentioned a possible prisoner for us to haul back to Coruscant. So, did you find the guy, or what? If he's still running loose, we could lend you a hand. The objective could not be taken alive. Can't win them all, I guess. All right, people. Let's sweep through the rubble and see if we can find the target's body to take back to General Garza. See you around, sir. Lieutenant, you made it! Please, have a seat. Tell me what happened. Was your mission against the Imperials a success? I wiped them out. Fantastic. This is incredibly good news, Lieutenant. Congratulations, you won! So what about Fuse? Was he alright? Were you able to rescue him? He gave his life so that I could stop Gorik. Oh, that's rough. He was a good guy, that one. Wish I could have shook his hand. So, your general called while you were gone. I filled her in on what I knew. Nice lady. Stern, though. Don't get me started on General Garza. Anyway, she wants you to call her from your ship before you take off. She was pretty insistent about it, actually. I hope there's nothing wrong. There's no predicting with Garza. You accomplished some great things here. I can't imagine she's anything but pleased. Well, Lieutenant, the people of Anchorhead owe you an incredible debt. You've saved countless lives from a threat we never could have imagined. I managed to scrape together a small reward for you. It's the least we could do to thank you. I really appreciate it, Mayor Claren. Generous donations like this are a great help to us when defending cities like yours from the vile oppression of the Empire, Mayor Claren. I'm just glad we could give you something for your hard work, especially if it helps you help more people down the line. So, I guess this is where we part ways. It's been a real pleasure having you here, Lieutenant. An honor. We'll never forget what you've done for us. The Republic prides itself on protecting the innocent. Well, be sure the Republic knows how much we appreciate the help. Good luck, Lieutenant. You'll always be welcome in Anchorhead. Welcome. Do you require medical attention? Stay safe out there. Dr. Sopern here. We've finished our initial catalog of the cave artifacts, which register as over 20,000 years old. 
You think that would narrow down the possible creators, wouldn't you? There weren't many societies capable of space travel in that period. But I can't find any society or species that fits these criteria. Even greed technology isn't comparable. Anyway, Dr. Larrick and I will study the primary device and assign lesser relics to the others to keep them busy. Hopefully, we'll find something useful. Zerka's going to make a fortune off this stuff if we can figure it out. End log. This is Director Antean speaking. As you know, worker safety is one of Zerka's top priorities and we take accidents seriously. Therefore, due to concerns surrounding studies of the device, we are implementing a new policy. Anyone wishing to perform a physical inspection of the device must get written authorization from myself and Dr. Daigo. The search using droids and remote scanners may continue normally. Please note that this does not affect our division's overall schedule. concerns on the record before more people get hurt. I'm worried about the device. Its energy readings keep fluctuating, and it appears to be trying to link with the lesser artifacts. I think it's a weapon, maybe a bomb. Soprin's theory about it being a Gree Enclave creation are inane. We've already got evidence of an ancient alien civilization visiting Tatooine, and they weren't Gree. We've seen similar technology in the Kashyyyk Shadowlands. I'm sure the Infinite Empire is tied to the device's origins no matter what anyone says. And I'm tired of being ignored.
Well, Dr. Larrick is gone. He's put in for a transfer and is heading back to Anchorhead, taking one of the lesser relics with him. Good riddance. He was a pain to work with. Still. Larrick's theory about an ancient infinite empire and a master alien species was fringe science at best. But some of his data makes sense. I'm going to run a new series of tests tomorrow, using a remote arm to open up the device. We'll see where it goes from there. Director Antaean to all Zerka employees, please listen and remain calm. A few minutes ago, we experienced a minor equipment failure in the main laboratory. As a precaution, we are initiating lockdown procedures. Do not attempt to override the system so the computers will respond with force. Stay where you are, and you'll be alerted when the situation resolves.
fait que ta méfile te fait à ma carrière. How did you do all this? Me bag address pas diak tan el bien es for casting ti. Zinies de he druli, das bruli fe he dan dan kwa. What were you trying to achieve? Das mat zen ke il jo, ma es tra me hu ruba. Ik ben verkeerd aan mijn veel terug naar mijn kapper. Ik heb het gegeven dat ik mijn veel terug naar mijn kapper heb. Maar ik heb het gegeven dat ik mijn veel terug naar mijn kapper heb. Je moet echt een goede baan vinden. Ik heb het gegeven dat ik mijn veel terug naar mijn kapper heb. Ik heb het gegeven dat ik mijn veel terug naar mijn kapper heb. Ik heb het gegeven dat ik mijn veel terug naar mijn kapper heb. Habib ya gelo eh, lili bahur bahid ya.
دست آرزی کرد Marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. We could never have excavated this place without your help. Oh, we knew where the base was, but getting inside, ghastly work. And I should say, I'm delighted to finally meet you in person. Do you have any idea what that thing is? Not a one. Exciting, isn't it? You see, when I was assigned to stop the Republic from finding this facility, I was intrigued by the Doomsday device. That my superiors told me to stay away only wet my appetite. I decided to take the device for myself. It all comes down to greed, doesn't it? That's one way of looking at it. Shall we continue in that vein? I'm offering a very large sum of credits, as well as rescinding the kill order on Camus, if you help me. Hand over the device, and the Republic never has to know. Tell Fowler you destroyed it. What do you say? Does this answer your question? How could you do that? Do you know what that thing was? What it was worth? Oh, now you've left me no choice. I'm going to have to kill you. Painfully. If it isn't my best freelancer. I don't know what your secret is, but I doubt I can afford it. Was there a base? Did you see the device? Camus was worried that if you failed, it'd mean the end of the world. Well, I... You saw Zerka's records! Yeah, and I've been worried too, so catch your breath, then let's hear it. That device? It had an ancient creature trapped inside. It had gone insane. I had to kill it. You're kidding! I had no idea. But if it's settled, that's good enough for me. So this is over? We're sure? You'll still need to testify, Camus. The investigation of Zerka won't end here. Get me to Coruscant, away from the Sand People and Zerka Cyborg Assassins? I'll testify all you want. You should know. Scan has picked up a Zerka ship fleeing the system. They're running scared now. Too bad we couldn't bring down the entire company. We stopped the device from hurting anyone. That's enough of a win. Anyway, I promised you payment. Don't ever say the SIS isn't grateful. Now take care of yourself and try not to get pulled back into these corporate schemes. Camus can tell you, they never really end. I don't know who you are, but you look like a good sword, I think. I... I've lost everything. My daughter. Can you find it in your heart to help me? First, tell me what happened. Did someone attack you? This is my farm. Yesterday we had a dozen droids and fifteen workers collecting enough moisture for half of Anchorhead. Today, everything's gone. The pirates destroyed it. They took the droids, the harvesters, and when that wasn't enough, they took slaves. My daughter, every woman here, my neighbors, wives, and kids, the pirates carried them off like livestock. Stealing's one thing. Even I draw the line at slavery. Those scum who took Layla, they're the lowest of the low. I wish I could help you. I wish I knew more. 
I always thought if I ignored raiders, they'd return the favor. I can tell you where those scum bed down. I just pray my poor Layla is still there.